officially the weekend so if you're going out you're going out anyway um i'm going to talk to you about the story in hand about a girl she's 24 years old a transgender woman her name is evie now the story goes allegedly that evie had an axe and she went into the 7-eleven store and um she ended up hitting two people in the head with it um with an axe and stuff we say allegedly but I mean, you know this is what gets me with this world we say allegedly and we're looking right at our own eyes allegedly raven has on a yellow shirt allegedly you know and so we have to say allegedly you know for that reason and stuff so allegedly she hit them with the axe and stuff like that and um you know the thing about it that get me with this video and stuff i'm going to show you what happened now the thing that kind of got me with this video, I kind of was on their side, and I kind of was on her side. Now, to be honest with you, I wasn't on her side at all. But then when I got the, when, you know, you got to kind of like watch the video and stuff, and watch the pizza, and I watched her walk inside the store, and she had the access on This is what I come upon when it came out to me. Um, when she walked inside of the store, the 7-Eleven, and I'm not going to defend her, crime is crime, and wrong is wrong, and you know, I'm not going to defend her, because I don't know the whole situation at hand, however, I'm going to go by what I see. When she walked inside the place and she had an axe, now I'm going to tell you something, this this is my opinion, but again, I'm going to let you see, no, I'm going to give you a heads up first, I'm going to tell you first, I'm going to let you so you can be ready for it. Okay, now when a person is like, okay, if you was walking down the street, somebody says something to you, and I'm thinking that maybe she went to her car, and she got her axe out. Now she's walking back outside, like saying, what are you saying? And all of a sudden, he walks up to the front, and she, other ladies never did. She walks right up to him, and she has the axe in her hand, and he's looking at, I don't know what competition or something is being said. I don't know whether the lady at the front um, was saying something smart back, or they said, made fun of her. I don't know what it was for her to come inside with an axe and she just started welling on them. Now that part was a little to left of me. Now the thing about it that got me a little twisted on their side because they said she don't remember. She don't remember anything. Now that makes me a little worried because if you could do this type of thing to someone that you don't know, how many people did you do that we don't know allegedly? that she done killed allegedly. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to shoot the video over to you and I'm going to let you know it's very graphic because I actually have the video, but it's not too graphic because you really don't see me blow. You see us hit it with the axe and stuff, but you know, you can hit I do actually rap and check this out. Okay, this went out as far as February the 2nd, 2017. A transgender woman who allegedly went on the axe rampage at a Sydney 7-Eleven will remain behind bars for another month. Evie A. Matai, 24, is facing a series of ch charges over the January the 7th incident at Elmore in Sydney, Inner West. Now, she had been expected to apply for bail today at the Central Local Court, but her lawyer, Charles Water Street, said that the application couldn't proceed. He was still waiting for details in the police case against um, Evie. That was expected to happen on February 28th when the bail application likely on March. Now, Miss Evie didn't appear on a video linked to the prison bail form of deny as the previous appearance. Now, Evie lawyers um, Charles Water Street told the court that Miss Evie suffers from psychosis delusions and hallucinations saying kill. Ms. Mr. Waterfront said that Evie was on a large amount of antidepressant hormonal drugs after and another drug given to her by a third party at the time of alleged attack. Now, police instantly charged the union um, employee with two counts of an issue causing um, grievously bodily 
harm the alleged attack on two customers at the 7-Eleven convenience store in Elmore in Sydney in the West. Now, the police allege Evie um, is a woman who strolled into the store with the axe and carried out an axe in a horrific video exclusive revealed on the news. So CCTV footage shows the bloody rampage second on the blood page second by second and it takes place inside the shop on the busy road about 2 8 2 20 a.m in the morning on a saturday now eva is now facing five charges including two counts including wounding of grievous body harm with an intent to murder and one attempting to cause woundedly with the intent to murder the third alleged victim sean redwood police said was attacked in steinmore um, road immediately after the incident um, inside of 7-Eleven. Now, she also faces original charges of wounding with the intent of cause grievously bodily harm against Mr. Rimmer at causing grievously bodily harm with intent against Miss Hacker inside of the court after her previous appearance. Um, Mr. Water Street said Miss Evie had no memory of the alleged attack and he said that she was well in um, Civil Water Women's Jail when she was receiving ongoing treatment. He said that she was music is she was musicianly talent and a high achiever, and the alleged offense was totally out of character. Now, as is also exclusively revealed that Evie um, at Elmore residence before her attack was a punk band drummer and a community and public sector union organizer named Call Before transitioned to a woman five years ago at her late, her late appearance in court. Now, Ms. Evie requests she be supplied with the hormonal drugs, estrogen boosters, and, you know, hormones and stuff. Now, in case you don't know, this is the video that went down. In case you want to... Now remember, it's very graphic of what she does, so be advised. So now you know why Evie is basically delayed bail application from the seven alleged attack, even though we see it, but it's called alleged. Now, as far as the people that was attacked, her name was Sharon Hacker. She was 43 years old and she went inside. She was only buying milk and this is what happened, you know, when she was leaving and stuff. She still got the milk in her hand and stuff and, you know, and the paramedics got there and everything and, you know. She's bleeding from the head and, you know, of course, they had to try to give her, see how deep the wounds and cuts and stuff. Now, as far as the guy, his, his name is Benjamin Rimmer, 32 years old, and who was buying a pie when he was walked upon her and she just started attacking him with an axe and stuff. And, you know, my thing is this, this woman needs a lot of medical attention. Okay, you see that? I don't know. I don't know.
here it is, all I think is some milk and some cake. I mean, it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny because, you know what, what's the mess about it? Remember that time I had that tantrum and I went into that guy? And that's what it's tricking in my head. I was like, you remember that time you did something like this, Raven? I said, oh, yeah, it does look a little familiar. But I didn't connect it. But I know when you're on these hormones and stuff, and like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, whether you agree with me or not, these girls are focusing on this, and they're focusing on this, and they're focusing on this, but they're not focusing on this. That medicine is working on your brain. If you don't want to deal with it, that's okay. Well, no, it's not. My skin is soft. My, that medicine is working on your brain. You're going through so many things as far as changes of your body that I don't think you, a lot of girls don't really want to deal with. They just think, oh, because oh, I never hear a girl say, except one, that was the one that helped me. I never hear a girl say, well, the hormones messed my mind up and I'm going, you know, there was a, oh, girl, my skin, feel the skin, look at my face, oh, the girl, my breasts go, my body. But they don't say what's happening to their mind. Maybe they're talking to me that way because they, they went crazy and they don't know it. Now, the thing about it, I have known with transgender women who have been on the pill for a while, they kind of lose their mind a little bit. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'm on the way there with them because since I started back on them, well, you already know, but since I started back on them and stuff, I have been getting the people's mess when they mess with me now. But, you know, that's either here or there and stuff like that, you know. And the thing about it with me, I don't think it's just that. With me, I always, I, it's not even a harm with me. When you're behind the scene like me and you're doing videos and stuff of as trans and being murdered and then people making little comments and you delete them and delete them and delete them and delete them and then you go outside to the public that don't know what you're going through, don't know, and here it is, you're taking everything everybody else said to you. You're taking it out to the streets and stuff and now you're prepared for war that nobody's out to get you. But in your mind, you think, oh, well, they got them, so I'm next. And, you know, you're on your mind, you're already ready. And that's how I feel um, with this girl as well. You know, she's probably seen the same things I've seen as far as you've seen as far as the trans woman. You know, and the thing about it is that I feel as though that when you get to that point, you just snap. And to me, she just snapped and she tried to jail and stuff. She started hormones in 2012, so I'm not defending her. I'm not rectifying for what she did, but my thing is, is that but somebody walking out of a store with an ex, something definitely has to be wrong. Because saying to me like she got to the point she didn't even care, you know. Just my opinion, something definitely went wrong. And, you know, my heart still goes out to the victim because it's still wrong what you did to them and stuff like that. But like I said before, there's three sides of the story. There's her side, there's their side, and there's the truth. Now, I don't know what transpired that got her that mad or maybe she says she don't remember. Maybe she was going through this. You know, she's going through this mental thing, I don't know. But if she's going through mental things and she attacking people with access, then she needs some real help. She needs to be put into a, some type of mental place where she can get herself together. And you should be pumping more hormones in her until you get her mind together. This pill is powerful. And I don't think people understand that. They don't concentrate on that. When they hand that pill over to a, another girl, they don't say, well, this pill is powerful, girls can mess with you. They don't say it. And I'm not saying all transgenders. And I'm not saying everybody. And I'm, and for the girls who say, well, my body, it doesn't, then let it do it for your body, because clearly this is not for you. But I feel as though it is an injustice for y'all to keep telling these girls that they're doing a see your body. And that'd be all lying any damn way, but I'm going to go into that. Because most of the time, y'all already look like a girl before you even pop a pill. And half of the time, y'all got pumped and telling the girl, this is natural. But I'm not going to go into that. Anyway, that being said, I just wanted to share this story because I thought it was really off to the left and stuff like that. Anyway, <sighs> mother must do them hormones. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to share this story with you. I wonder how you feel about this. What makes you think she walked inside of it with that? Do you think she was messed when she got mad and went got it? Or do you just think she was just illusion and just went crazy? Anybody being said, I would love you feel about this, and I would let you know I love you, and I want to thank you for watching. Catch the radio.